Hey guys, it's Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a rose gold cut crease. Since I haven't seen a lot and I wanted to try it, I love this color and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it. If you want to see this look, please keep on watching. First I'm going to take the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my lids. I'm going to be taking the Dose of Colors Concealer Brush to apply this all over my lid. Then I'm going to make sure to get really close to my eyebrow and blend that out really, really good so you can't see it. Next I'm going to be using the 9N and palette from Morphe Brushes and I'm going to be using the MAC Cosmetics 208 Angle Brush to carve out my crease. Then I'm going to take the darkest color from the palette with that same angled brush and I'm going to go over the first color and carve out the crease and I'm going to start pushing the product up with that same brush just to get it ready to blend it out with the next brush. Then I'm going to take Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is a precise blender brush. I love this brush for the crease blending. I'm going to make sure to blend it from the inner corner all the way out and flick it out. Make sure that it's nicely blended. Next I'm taking Urban Decay Cosmetics Recharged Liquid Moon Dust. And this one has a nice felt tip point and I'm able to carve out that nice sharp crease from the inner corner all the way out and extending it out from the inner corner to the outer V. Then I'm taking MAC Dazzle Shadow in Last Dance and I'm applying this with the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. This brush picks up any pigments really really good to apply on the lid. Then I'm taking the Rose Gold Pigment from MAC and going on top of the Dazzle Shadow with that same brush. And I'm going to use the Tarte Cosmetics Salty. This is the Matte Dry Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to be use, using this to do my eyeliner. And I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Eyeliner Brush as well. Then to seal that, I'm taking the first color from the palette and going on top of it and sealing it. Then I'm going to go in with the LA Splash Cosmetics Architects Liner and going over that salty liquid lipstick liner because I want to make sure that when I apply my eyelashes, they are nicely and concealed. For my face, I'm using LC Cosmetics Radiant Pearl Primer. I'm going to apply this all over my face. This is ideal for dry skin types just as me. I have dry skin so this is perfect. Then I'm going with the LC Cosmetics Micro Sleek Foundation and I'm going to be blending it out with my damp beauty blender. I'm going to contour and highlight with the iconic London Cream Contour Kit. Here I'm applying my highlight and then I'm applying my contour. And then I'm going to be blending it out with my beauty blender. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Confidence Powder using my beauty blender to set my under eyes. I don't like it to be too white looking or really pale. I like it to be just a, like a shade lighter than my skin tone. And I'm going to be setting that. And then I'm going to go in with the RCMA No Color Loose Powder just to carve out the bottom part of my cheekbones or my jaw, my jawline. And I'm still using the Beauty Blender. 
Then I'm going to go in with the to the Tarte Cosmetics Tartus Contour using the Morphe Brushes R14 brush. This is from the Rose Gold Collection. I love this brush. Getting rid of the five head really quick. And then I'm going to go in and just blend more on my cheekbone area. Then I'm going to go in again with the darkest shadow uh, shade of the contour kit. And I'm going to carve out just a soft line right on top of that first um, contour color. Then I'm going to make sure to blend it all together. I just want a really sharp cut contour. Then I'm going to go in with that 9N palette and I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. And then I'm going to set it with the Tarte Cosmetics Marine Boosting Mist, making sure to get every portion of my face. Now I'm going to highlight using the MAC Cosmetics Show Gold. And I'm using the Grand Mercy Mink Lashes from Holly April Lashes. And I'm going to go in with Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. Make sure to blend it out. And then I'm going to set it with the darkest color from the 9 and palette and blending it out I'm gonna apply my mascara my favorite one which is from Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes this is waterproof as well so it's perfect and that's it for my eyes Then I'm going to go in with Tarte Cosmetics Boho Lip Liner. I'm going to outline just a little bit just to give me that fuller lip effect. Oops. Then I'm going to take Tarte Cosmetics Salty again. This is the Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint. And right over that I'm taking Beauty Bakery Waffle Cone Lip Whip. This is so pretty. It's such a pretty rose gold. And that's it. That's it for my look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.